The shooting massacre in Newtown, Connecticut sparked a national debate on gun control and mental health issues. But a local entrepreneur says something else is missing from the national conversation. As Calorama found, psychologists agree. Neil Kimball has dedicated his life to strengthening the family, leaving a high-paying corporate job to build a business around the ideals of family values. One, tutors happy, <laughs> children happy, <laughs> team members happy, and when they're happy, I'm happy. Neil Kimball is sort of an expert on families, running an Orlando-based tutoring company, but his real passion is family table time, a kit that brings families together around the dinner table. His technique is now being used by school systems across the country with a product called School House to Your House. The dinner table became the safe zone for our children so we could talk about anything they want to talk about. A recent topic of conversation, the Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre, something that hit close to home. The Kimballs used to live in Sandy Hook and developed family table time at their home there. While the country has been talking about gun control and mental health issues, Kimball says there's been literally no talk about where parents and family come into play. You're going to have children grow up to not only do the right thing, they're going to be the, the people that will eventually raise amazing children. And I look at our four children as our legacy. Kimball believes the key to preventing senseless violence starts at home, with close-knit families giving children an outlet to express their feelings. And psychologists agree. Can there be ever some kind of explanation of why this was done? Well, a lot of these tragedies that are so horrific really take place because people don't feel connected. There's such a sense of social isolation and lack of connection, lack of social responsibility, and absolute hopelessness that comes from not feeling part of something bigger than yourself. Clinical psychologist Dr. Stacy Dunn says the young men responsible for the shootings in Milwaukee, Aurora, and Sandy Hook were all reportedly isolated and introverted. Dr. Dunn's best advice for parents to keep them feeling connected? First important part of learning how to talk with your children is actually not talking, it's listening. Really being a good listener. We tend to listen and then want to make it better as parents. So child will say, I'm really scared. Oh, don't be scared. Oh, I'm, I'm worried, and what about Johnny? He seems like he could, oh, don't be ridiculous. And so we really invalidate our children, not because we want to hurt them, but because we don't want to see them hurting. Kimball wants to make sure people know this isn't just geared for the traditional family. Whether it's single parents or grandparents raising children, the goal is to keep the conversation going. Wow, you know, it's they, amazing. It is, and they do amazing work. Yeah. And, uh, it makes me think every time I gotta get my table tied out so my kids can start, even when they're little, they can start to talk. You know? and, and you talk about a guy who it, it, it hits close to home living right there in Sandy Hook. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. It is really amazing. All right, let's talk about runners, shall we? Yeah, let's go.